Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If it is your first time here, be sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment down below so that I can welcome you and also press notification bell so that you don't miss a video when I upload. And if it isn't your first time, thank you so much for coming back. Hello darling, how are you doing? It's been a while that I sat down and had a conversation with you guys, which is okay anyway. You know, sometimes you just need a break. You just need like, you just need a break because 2020 baby <laughs> 2020 has been something okay it still is going despite it all we're still grateful we're still happy we're still going on and life is still going on so today's video i will be sharing some answers to some questions that i received on my instagram so i sent out um, a post on my instagram asking people to send me questions in regards to living alone which is something that i have done for about five to just about five years now. Um, I started living alone when I moved to the UK for university. And obviously like the first year that I came here, I lived on campus. Second year and third year, I lived with people in a shared home. And then the th third year onwards, I basically lived with, on my own, with me, myself and I. Um, and so yeah, I thought it would be a good video to share my experience to give some advice to anyone who's really willing to try out living by themselves for anyone who's thinking about it who's never done it before who's you know It's just I feel like it's a period of life that some people do go through at some point that everybody has to go through at some point Somehow whether it's living away from home for the people that are going to uni or Just because you want to move out of your mother's house because you've been there for a while and I, oh. I will be answering those questions that people ask me and then at the end I will just give my own personal opinion my own experience what I've liked about living alone what I haven't liked about living alone what I've learned living alone because it's an experience okay um, and why I would recommend living alone at some point in your life so let's get into this video Question number one was um, best part about living by yourself. I think the one thing that I love about living by myself is obviously one, having my own space. Um, <clears throat> Like I mentioned before, I used to live with other people and obviously like my room was sort of like the only place where I had my own space. Everything else was shared, like bathroom was shared, kitchen was shared, you know, everything else was shared. But living on my own, everything is mine. It sounds a bit like selfish, but by that, I it gives you this like freedom of setting it up the way you want to set it up doing whatever you want to do and also um if you're living on your own and your house is messy there's nobody else to blame by yourself so now you don't have to have that awkward conversation like oh guys the house is messy we need to fix it up da 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 da, da. so that's what i loved about um living on my own that's one of the best things definitely the the freedom the space the having enough space for myself the freedom um and just yeah somebody else asked for the worst thing the worst thing is depending on what kind of person you are it can get lonely at times because obviously it's just you um don't get me wrong like i enjoy my own company i love my own company but also i enjoy hosting so i try to find a balance between having people over and also like having my friends over but at the same time like finding that balance where it's like okay i've had people over but if i can spend three four days by myself in this space i'm good so that's probably um one thing just finding that balance um depending on what kind of person you are because if you're a person who's really used to staying with people it could be very hard for you to accommodate to having your own space um that's probably one of them um <laughs> one of the other I, I wouldn't call it the worst thing about living alone but i would probably look at it in in the sense of it's it's kind of like a sudden growth and you're you're suddenly an adult like you just have to do things that you didn't realize you had to do you know like bills paying bills on time 
um, sorting out bills or when there's a there's something leaking in your house either you fix it yourself or you get somebody to fix it for you it's almost like you literally are responsible for everything um, if something's broken um, you have to fix it you're basically throwing the pit of responsibility where you sometimes you know you can't always call mom and dad especially like for me for instance like my mom is in a whole nother country so I can't call my mom at every little thing that happens in my house um, the heater broke at some point I had to call the people to come and fix the heater so literally you are responsible you're basically the mom and the dad in the house because you got to do everything because when you live with your parents all these like you know appliances and all these things like that like your parents deal with it but then when you are living alone guess what you have to call the plumber you have to call the engineers you have to call your landlord you have to call the electrician so yeah next question was how do you get yourself into a routine um okay so with this one it depends on what you do i guess if you are working then within your working hours you're probably not going to be home and then you have to find that balance where either you prepare yourself for the week over the weekend or you you just take it a day at a time when i was going to uni obviously i had uni every day um but then sometimes it was early at nine o'clock and other times it was a little bit later so some days i had time to stay in i had time to um you know to sleep in and like relax a little bit but then what i used to do i still do it now actually when i plan a trip to town i make sure that that trip to town is worth everything so by that i mean if i'm going to town that means okay if i'm leaving the house what do i need so that i don't have to do back and forth um town trips so often so when i go to town and i'm like okay i need to go to the supermarket so i stop at the supermarket and i do everything that i need and when i go to the supermarket i buy things that i know are going to last me that i don't need to be going to the supermarket every other day so just having that sort of like program where you're like okay if i'm going food shopping i'm doing it one time and it's enough for me that even if i have a schedule that i don't need to be going to the supermarket every single day so getting yourself in a routine depends really on what you do and how you deal with it um there are days when if i have nothing to do i'm i'm i'm, I'm chilling um, and also like that, it's the same thing with tidying up and cleaning the house. For me, I tend to have better time to do that, like either midweek or at the end of the week. So there will just be a day where I'm like, okay, I'm cleaning the house. And because it's not such a huge, huge, huge place that I'm very able to clean it up. So I would either do an evening, you know, play some music and get my house ready and vacuum and uh, dust everywhere I need to dust and mop and all that jazz um to get it ready or you do you, you can either do it like on a sunday afternoon if you have the time or i prefer to do it like on a wednesday or on a friday which then like on the wednesday sort of like midweek so i've sort of like accumulated everything and tied it up or on a friday it's almost like before the weekend in case i have friends over and all the sort of thing but then i don't really have like cleaning days like that but i would say that's sort of like the balance that i have and it depends on what's happening sometimes i don't i don't do it weekly i don't do it like as two times a week as i would say i do it when i my house is messy i will clean it if it's messy so yeah next question how do you deal with loneliness um okay so this one is a bit i don't know because for me i enjoy time like i said before at the beginning of the video i enjoy hosting but i also enjoy my own time so it depends on what kind of person you are if you are one person who cannot be by themselves it will be a little bit hard for you to adapt to living by yourself but for me i found that that balance where most times i am alone at home i have things to do so i'm either recording a video for my youtube channel blogging doing this doing that i'm constantly busy doing something that before i know it i'm like wow well, i haven't actually left the house for like two days because i had no reason to so for me i've never really felt the loneliness um, unless when I'm like sad sometimes when I am sad I feel like okay maybe it would be better if somebody was here uh, my fr my boyfriend does visit sometimes my friends do visit sometimes so I'm literally I'm 
it's really a good balance of like 50 50 but whenever those moments have happened like with loneliness and stuff where i felt like sad and lonely I'll, i will put on a movie or i will call a friend or just have some sort of like um noises this is something i do as well so because i don't want the house to be quiet all the time i will play something on tv just for, for it to be more noise than just myself so i'll play something on tv either youtube videos a netflix movie that I've, I've already seen but just to hear other voices rather than my own especially like during lockdown that's one thing i used to do a lot where i would just play some things in the background so that it doesn't feel too quiet because again with lockdown it's a bit different where everything was kind of like you just had to be in your house so yeah um that was one thing i did to sort of like cope with the loneliness but even if it gets a little bit difficult for you to, to deal with loneliness eventually you will get used to it because at the end of the day you have to be able to spend time with yourself to be able to to be okay with spending time with yourself so yeah um next question is how far away did you move from home so i basically moved a whole other country um i was living in spain before i moved to the uk and then i moved to the uk i knew nobody here I had no friends here and literally just started an entire whole new life for me so that's what I did and that is normally a normal transaction what well, transaction like a normal change in life um, but then I think a lot of people tend to go like uni in the same place and then um, not the same place as their their house but somewhere which will allow them to sort of like travel home easily like over the weekend and stuff like that so yeah Next question was how do you deal with being away from your family? Okay, um, it is a little bit different for me because my family and I are so used to traveling. I'm not saying I don't miss my family. I do miss my family, but I think we are quite used to being on the move that we do see each other quite often. Um, obviously, except this year has been a bit funny, but most of the time we do see each other quite um quite often and obviously speak on the phone we stay in contact um, with my family um, my parents also actually used to work um, on the go and traveled a lot so it's something we are used to and we have found a balance of how to make it work for us so we will talk and we'll meet up and like um, during the holidays every now and then whenever we can during the year we'll like sort of like travel together to meet up um, so we have that balance um, but yeah that's that's how we deal with it um what are the pros and cons of living alone okay so the good things about living alone definitely helps you be more responsible helps you to grow up suddenly helps you to sort of like have an idea of what it will be like if you're looking at maybe wanting to get married wanting to to live on your own wanting to leave the house it sort of like prepares you for that sort of like adult adult life and introduces you to things that you don't really think about when you're sitting at home with your parents you don't think about council tax you don't think about the, the electricity bill you don't think about the phone bill you don't think about the wi-fi bill you don't think about the water bill you don't think about all these things you don't think about like um the plumber if something broke i'm going to call mom and dad i'm not going to call the plumber so it literally gives you this sense of of responsibility where you really have to grow up and i feel like it's a good thing sometimes because some people like you know you, you can easily get so comfortable in the comfort of your parents home that you know by the time you however are old i'm not going to put our ages there because some people are going to get offended but at some point sweetie you gotta move out okay um but yeah so i think that's probably one thing another thing a bad thing about living alone the bad thing about living alone is that if you are not responsible enough and you forget your 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 bills and you choose enjoyment over your bills you're not gonna get no water you're not gonna get no electricity you're gonna be freezing during the winter so pay your bills people um but yeah that's probably i can't think of anything that is negative about living on your own if anything i've loved living on my own i've enjoyed it i still am enjoying it it's given me a different um 
understanding and it's made me discover who I am and what I'm about so yeah it's been a great journey and I would absolutely 100% recommend it I actually think those are all the questions that I was sent. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that if you are thinking of moving out, don't be scared. It is a big step to take, especially like if you're like me and you move to a whole nother country where your parents are a plane away rather than two hours away by car. Um, I would definitely recommend it because it helps you grow, it helps you discover yourself, it helps, it teaches you about responsibilities, it teaches you about life, it teaches you about um, adult life and, and I think it's very very important for everyone. If, if you're able to, I think you should definitely move out. Um, but yeah guys, so that was my video on living alone. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video.